And we are back. And I am not alone. I dug up some old 5v5 teammates. <laughs> so I'm here with Len and and Lodden. Hello, hello. Hello. And we are here to talk about 5v5, which I'm sure you are both uh, very enthused about. <laughs> But uh, we're going to do a video about 5v5 initials, um, which uh, I think you will, you two will probably agree that 5v5 is mostly played like on feel and intuition. Like you, you don't really do, it's not like Counter-Strike where you can do strats for each round because in BF2, like each round lasts like 20 minutes. So you can't plan for that. Oh, you plan the initial. And yeah, exactly. Rest and is intuition and experience, I guess. Some general idea of where it's good to be and what situations are yeah. good. And then just during the match, you hope that an opportunity arises where you can take advantage of. Because yeah. same with 8v8 as well, a lot of times. I'm just but like, like 8v8 I don't know is, what's happening. 8v8 is a little bit different, though, because you have the lockdown stage and you, you can plan yeah. out certain positions. Like, you, you yes. don't really have that in 5v5. You you just have no, to... Not, yeah. Yeah. You just have to go with it. <laughs> and hope yeah, it's, it's quite... It's, yeah, it's more likely that the tank will kill the inf than the inf will kill the inf. So it's easier to plan in 8v8 that yeah, the tank exactly. will actually manage to yeah, <laughs> hold that position. <laughs> and, and you have a lot more information in 8v8 because you know where every... Like... For the most part, you know what's happening. Whereas in yeah. 5v5, you have to do a lot of guesswork. Um, but uh, like the initial is like, it's inevitably like the most played phase of the game because you always play the initial, no matter if you're outcapped 190 to zero. So like, even though I'm sure you can practice late game and outcaps and mid game, it it's not gonna, it's not going to give you the same value as practicing the initial because you always play the initial. So, um, but anyway, enough with the intro. Let's let's get to it. Um, so I have um, I have Karkant here first. Uh, what are, like I think the three of us can agree that we have never had like together playing. We have, we haven't really had the greatest success on this map. But, uh, no. What do you guys think? I, I have some things. I, I have one initial that I I want to mention. But uh, like, what's like the default here, Len? Uh, egoist is typically the easiest one, and then later that I mean that was typically what was done like for a long time. And then I remember in Team Norway we tried to be slightly more advanced which is now looking back is not very advanced but we would do <laughs> we would send like four people east and then the, the last guy would go east but slightly delayed but he would jump down uh, behind below, the below the wall yeah yeah and then the, the, the hoping that in the chaos that they would like c4 but they would assume it's five and this guy could flank around but and i, I have one yeah, continue. For just for a long time, that worked. Just now it doesn't because people are not that stupid anymore. But it worked <laughs> for a very long time. <laughs> but I think the first question we have to answer with regard to Karkand, like, is it really a benefit to go around? Because can you play this map flag by flag? Because uh, here's no. my thinking. My thinking is, yeah. like, no matter how many, how, no matter how many people the US push to Hotel, uh, the mech team is inevitably gonna gravitate towards market eventually to suspect suspect that someone's getting around. So, like, um, can you play this map like flag by flag and be okay? If the teams are equal, I think it's hard. Yeah. yeah. But obviously, if, if one team is way better better than the other, you can do whatever the fuck you want. But yeah. uh, but uh, you, usually, in my experience, they usually like go square or market. Yeah, yeah. How t how Karkin is won typically in US is the same scenario. US uh, captures market, and then 
Uh, Mech tries to capture it back, and they send a lot of people. And in the meantime, you just capture a hotel and square, and yeah. The mech team then graze market and they get naded out by the US team rushing from square back to market. Well, that's the big advantage for US is that the one guy has to stay behind here, right? Yeah. Uh, or, but uh, how, like, uh, what about the West option? Like uh, pushing the hill? I've never done it. But uh, one variation that we once tried, like, way, way back is. To have the three guys push down here one guy go high and one guy go low so hopefully the high guy is not spotted here but the low guy takes the attention yeah. and and one thing that i'm sure you, both of you have seen is one squad leader spawns and just hides here and yeah. then when when the mech team starts to assume that someone has gotten around and they start pulling away from hotel they all respawn here and push hotel so yeah. th there are some tricks you can do like that but that didn't work in the past but it sort of started to work at some point <laughs> when people <laughs> started to remember who the squad leaders were and remembering hmm, he's zero dead still he must be around <laughs> yeah 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 exactly <laughs> like if people are too dumb it it's not going to do anything <laughs> but i think uh, most people are going to catch on to yeah, that yeah. eventually like uh, but yeah uh, how uh, so like yeah it's it's pretty straightforward i guess uh, uh, but how 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 about the mech initial though i i can only say that i usually i, I usually actually spawn square in the initial because i'm already i'm already thinking that someone's going to push uh, on the flank or go yeah. around so i just want to be ahead of that but uh Loden, what do you prefer on the mech side i usually go wherever other people aren't going yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> but uh but uh, in in this small community like uh, you you basically know where some of them most likely will push <laughs> but so, uh... the, but like there is a certain skill to getting around though, because remember when you're playing against Viper, like, uh, for some reason I can never spot the guy. Like he's all, he's like an invisible. But um, it is hard to get around on this map. But I, I I really feel that like playing the mech side is also difficult on this map because like you you just have that feeling that inevitably they're gonna get around. Like yeah, the the use thing. I feel like nowadays when I get around, I my goal is to kind of just get around and just grab a lot of attention. And I might run just really west, like up there, and I will like even almost deliberately understand that I am spotted, and I'm hoping that two people will go for me. Like and up here. Ah uh, yeah, or more like I will maybe get in the distraction on the hotel push. I will push like west of square. Uh, right here. Yeah, yeah, in this area, and then I will just try to just stay alive. And my goal is to have two people chase me because then we have four versus three, and we should be able, hopefully, should be able to get square or hotel. But this is also like uh, the the one thing I always like in five five like in general is like the squad leader spawning on the squad leader and pushing separate ways, like. Like, for yeah. example, if you push here and one squad leader spawn on you and go hotel from this direction, for example, or uh, and you push push on, like, the squad leader spawning on a squad leader, is, it's basically unreadable almost, even by very skilled players. Um, of course, that means that the squad leader that got the sp that was spawned on, he needs to not die, but he needs to go somewhere obvious. So that yeah, he will be spotted yeah. and people will assume, oh, we got the guy who's flanky. Obviously, timing yeah. timing is important. But uh, let's just move on. Um, yeah. What's the next one? Master, yes. Uh, where Where is it in this list? Probably a little bit more interesting. I mean, there are, we all know there are very interesting things. Uh, I actually think Master is a very interesting map just tactically. There, there are lots of different things you can do. And uh, let's just cover the obvious one is the nade strat. Um, so uh, we actually there is actually a match on my YouTube channel uh, versus tweaked where we actually do the nade strat. 
um, but obviously the thing is from this spot you can nade both flags but i have actually come I, like i have actually thought about it and uh as us i always feel that you want to trade like you yes. want hotel yeah, but yeah like the nade strat it's yeah. sort of designed to lock mech into hotel <laughs> Uh, I'm not yeah. really sure that's what you want to do. <laughs> no. I definitely want to get rid of US main as quick as possible. Yeah. Of course, by getting hotel. That's what I want to use. So, uh, I like to. It's probably easier to like describe the, how things. Like, I. Which is now considered very dumb, but uh, previously, it, it, we did the strat where we pushed the north bitch and then one of the squad leaders spawned and then just jumped into the valley and just pushed straight on hotel yeah so, so you ID... mean you're you're coming here and one guy jumps yeah and then out continue in... and then yeah. the idea is hopefully either you get north bitch and you're okay or, and you fail and then you can push hotel immediately yeah. which I've is seen... not gonna work anymore most likely because people know like will yeah your timing has to be <laughs> exceptional, button. at least. But uh, yeah. like I I've seen the Swedes do that uh, yeah. back in the day as well. Uh, I, I definitely feel Northbridge. Uh, I mean, I, I think you and me, Loden, have talked about it a bunch. But uh, like, I I definitely think Northbridge is the flag to have in the initial uh, of the two center flags. Yeah, definitely. I, I always feel uh, it's always risky to 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 commit to uh, to road construction. Um, even as US, I feel it's a little bit because <laughs> if you fail to get Northbridge here, you 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 basically have the two worst flags in the game, like um, or at least two of the worst flags. I think now I would send four people. I kind I mean I understand, but I find it really hard to get Northbridge as US. So I would send four people road and immediately flank. It depends what flank. your mentality is. And though, then like. yeah, yeah, and of course if I feel that I can win, I will go for Northbridge. But yeah, exactly. And then yeah, <laughs> this is the, this is definitely yeah. the underdog approach. Like yes. let's get the flag. <laughs> yeah, and but... then like and I just want to get the hotel, and I will send one guy. Maybe I'll send him. Uh, I in the on the like the red zone roof, if that makes sense. Like uh, in between uh, hotel, yes. And, like as and as it. US. Yes, maybe. So like pushing either. around like this. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, idea being is that you can immediately get the north bridge, or you can decide if you want to kill people from that roof, or if you want to hide. It's sort of a. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I think that's a really like if you have if you have Northbridge and you're pushing salt block, I definitely think this is a really good way to go about it. Uh, but I, I haven't really thought too much about going the other way. You just go to the flag. Yeah, you you, like you mean roof. this roof? Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you like decide depending on what's happening if you should. If like you, if you're successful at hotel, you. Maybe you just go either you try to kill people and if you're not successful at the hotel you can people can spawn you and immediately they go north bridge and then Like do you mean that the guy is supposed to hide there for like a long it, it can hide there. Okay. It doesn't have to hide there. Seems uh, a little bit avoidant <laughs> to me. <laughs> but yeah, uh... but like I feel like you at least they have optionality because if the if you then fail at road bridge uh people spawn at you uh but if you don't you can decide if you want to i'm just my yeah well, i mean yeah. i guess it depends on the situation but like uh, let's let's just assume that teams are somewhat even yeah uh i would i i like i can't get away from that thinking i would just always want Northbridge like <laughs> I, I, I I understand your approach in the sense that it's like designed to give you options and it, it's a very safe approach um, but it, it's also like uh, sometimes to take a little bit risk is obviously more risk more reward I think is definitely uh, uh, valid that, in this situation and I do feel like US usually is first on both maps if you run straight for them both, both flags you mean 
both I lines. Mean, they're obviously first here, but yeah. I think they are usually first, but you, you, you I mean, have to uh, expose yourself to nades. So. It's going to be close. It's going to be close on Northbridge. If if you if you just run directly in, it's going to be somewhat close. I, I, I just think I think a lot of US, uh, uh, like a lot of people playing US will sort of uh, hesitate a little bit, and not like push directly into Northbridge, because like uh, the risk of being naden and all that. But um, yeah. I did, I did play a, a 5 versus 5 a while ago on this map and um, in that particular uh, match they had a support in that stairs of yours uh, yeah and and were actively uh, the whole round nading both northbridge and road um, was it squid <clears throat> no i think it was malkin <laughs> okay <laughs> Uh, and at the same t at the same time, they very often had a noob tube on the what's what's it called North Northbridge roof, right here. Yeah, and as long as both of those were alive, it was basically impossible to <laughs> well to cut uh, those two middle flags. At that, least that, when you that, played against good players. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like if, if someone's really good at nading, like if someone really practiced and went all in on this uh, approach. I I actually think I, I have thought about that. Uh, like I do uh, the one advantage that mech obviously has is the SVD. I actually think uh, yeah. that sniper is the counter to a support be. player. Or, a, or or the RPK on the roof, maybe. Yeah, but like an SVD, like because you can't heal yourself when you're support, obviously, the SVD is gonna eat you up. Like, uh, so uh, I I think if this became a thing that people were just supporting all over, I think spawning, I think you would see sniper spawns more often. Um, how are we feeling? But like. Uh, we we've all like we've seen all kinds of strats like you remember when tweaked like pushed four guys road construction as mech and it's like like you see weird variations like that sometimes and do you guys feel that like the uh, do you like to mix it up like that i mean you can surprise people you can perhaps as as, as us i usually think it's the smart idea to play it safe and just make sure get road because yeah. if you if you actually lose both middle flags you are done usually yeah then it's the match is over you are surrounded and you get uh, spawn blocked and you're capped like 197 to zero and you and you're fucked so that's so actually US, a good point yeah as, as us i would usually just go for the safe option make sure you get road and then send a squad leader up to Mosque. Uh, or a hotel, uh, I mean, hotel, 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 uh, hotel, obviously. Uh, th that's one advantage of getting road as well. You do have but, good approaches to yeah. like get to. You hotel. can obviously go for the go for the, the the risky option and go for both flags, for example. But yeah. if you fail both places, you are usually done. At least. But but, but here, here's the thing: if Mech isn't, if Mech is doing the default thing, so let's just talk about that. Like default for Mech, what are we thinking? Three or four guys uh, north. Yeah. Because if if Mech does the default thing, one guy can easily, one US guy should be able to get road. Um, if you have one guy in the stairs as well, spotting for him, because like the guy in the stairs there, he can see where the guy is approaching. The, if they have a mech guy approaching road, he can see where it is. And he can also get squad dropped if everyone on Northbridge gets wiped. So, I mean, there are different ways to play this. Um, that gives you more options. But... Um, yeah, big outcaps often happens in this map. Yeah, exactly. And also like uh, s sudden switch uh, switch arounds. Like uh, one yeah. team can have three flags, and <laughs> one minute later, it's the well, other way me, around. If, for me, on this map, as a US at least, the goal is to get one of the middle flags, and then trade mains. Yeah. Every time. Yeah, yeah, you exactly. Want you want to you want to trade the you want you want this. Like like uh, if if I get if, if I get total and lose every other flag, I would be happy. Yeah. 
Because, kind uh, of, but like not happy, obviously. I, but, I, I do, know. I do, I do sometimes feel that people are so they they they're so willing to give up everything to get hold. But I mean, things to switch around on this map so quickly, it's really hard to. I get, I, I, I can definitely see the merit of playing more safe. Um, even though I'm, I, I think I'm a more risky player at nature. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I enjoy to do the like more straightforward yeah. stuff. But it's 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 easier, I think, to take risks as mech on this map and or uh, as US. But yeah, I mean, you you're not going to be punished as hard. Yeah. But um, but uh, as mech, uh, I I can't really think of a reason. I, I as I said, as I mentioned j just a while ago, I, I we've seen tweaked run four guys <laughs> rogue, but I can't really think of a reason to not go for Northbridge. Like, do you go? How, how do you feel about that? As mech? No, no. I, Northbridge is the best map of best the middle ones. Yeah. The only reason would be that you feel that you can defend. Uh, defend like hotel from uh, you could send four people road and yeah. then immediately push south and yeah, just hope would... that and then have one guy at hotel with the height elevation hope that he can defend because uh, it takes a while to run from north Beach it to takes hotel. a while but this flag is not easy to defend alone no. uh, it's very easy to defend if you are 2v2 3v3 it's not easy to defend 1v3 uh, but I, i'm i'm really the, yeah. the one thing that concerns me about this is that the nade strat is specifically a counter to this exact yeah. move so th th that's why i feel it's i feel it I, I feel it can be very risky it depends what the us team does but i'm skeptical but um yeah let's move on <laughs> And now you, Len, you can talk about uh, your favorite thing. Oh, mech uh, No, not, not, not the favorite. Favorite. <laughs> oh, your okay. favorite strat, maybe. I don't know. I, I, I did, did, didn't you tell me once that you, that someone on Team Norway invented it, or was it you? Who, was I it your can't, idea? Can't remember. Uh, but we just figured that uh, mech wise, what's what's the flag called? Market. Uh, Musk market. Market, yeah, market, junk. yeah, yeah. You can cap market by just running through markets. Yeah. When because you're faster at uh, mech, uh, there are two good spawns to market. Yeah, let's so just you... let's just yeah. see the spawns here. Uh, yeah. the, the one thing of the almost unique about the uh, road in general is that there are so many spawns, like nine spawns on this flag. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, there, okay, there, there's three or oh, two good, and then one is decent as well. I guess two you and mean a half. This good one spawns. or yeah, yeah. Two two and a half good spawns. So, so you, I, yeah, you really feel that you need these spawns if you want to do it well, right? I would spawn now slightly more advanced. I would spawn two people, squad leader one, squad leader two. Yeah. And then if neither gets the good spawn, they do not move, and squad leader three spawns. And yeah, I mean, it, the, the the one problem is that there are so many spawns. The chances yeah. that you're actually going to spawn block. Uh, uh, mm. Yeah, but the, even the, 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 it's at least pretty decent odds. Uh, and well, if you, you, get... you increase the yeah. chance a little bit. <laughs> yeah. You, but like, uh, if you but, get one of the good spawns, yeah. you just uh, basically run through people, just spawn on the squad leader, and you immediately push. And by just running, the squad leader just stays back in cap, and the other, since they spawn, and they're so fast, you're much faster than the US, you can immediately catch US like... Yeah, because they While will stand. Trying to na yeah, they will stand around here, right? Yeah, because people in the past at least used to nade and shit, which yeah. is not very effective when you're in their face with an AK. No, exactly, and you will come around like mech players will come around yeah. from here and, you will cap and here, the flag by just running through it basically. Yeah. So the squad leader basically stays behind a little bit, and the yeah. rest of this, all the spawners, like three or three guys, will just run straight at US, like yes. not stopping. Um, I I do think that. I mean, we we can. I think we can all agree that there is a decent chance that uh, on uh, with even teams that uh, road matches go twenty minutes. Yeah. Um, but I do feel that this rush strat is very effective at just getting a quick cap. Like if you 
if you manage to just wipe them here with, with yeah, then obviously you go immediately to US main. You do not yeah. go to hotel then. <laughs> you get to the US main. All five. Uh, maybe not all five, but uh, four or three at least. There's still the and concern the of a possible yeah. US flanker. Um... Possible. There's always going to be a US flanker. Yeah, exactly. It should but, always but be. Mech should have had a second time. squad leader going here anyway. Uh, no, but it will take not... time, and it will like, and even if they if they don't spawn back at the, uh, yeah. But the, at but the, the one US problem main, is you will understand. So yeah. But the one problem is that it's so hard to see people. Like the one thing I've discovered is that this street is one place where you can actually see every crossing. So if you just lie right here, you can actually see if anyone is crossing. But if you are in between buildings anywhere, like the squad, the squad leader is gonna it's gonna be like completely random if you spot the squad leader or not. Like uh, if, if they're good at lurking around, they're gonna get to mosque uh, unless you I, I don't know. It, it's it's really hard to shut down this map. Yeah, I find it hard to intercept squad leaders on this map. Yeah. I find yeah. it more effective to just immediately push their flags, push their flags, and force them. And so we can kind of guess where they... If they're not defending their main, ah, they're flanked. Okay, means we can have one guy spawn back. And if he gets uh, like a three-man wipe, which happens, it's not very uncommon, then it's GG. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I have similar I have similar feelings about this flag as um, the US main on Master. Like, I, I don't like it. <laughs> so if I can trade for Mosk, I, I, I would be happy to do so. Um, th th that's what I mean about the rush chat being effectively yeah. shutting it down, is that there is there is a chance that you might just end up with both flags in the initial. And yeah. if you're super lucky, you wipe US completely back to Junkyard. Uh, which is obviously the nightmare scenario or for... Uh, or you miss one squad leader and they get a full team spawn on Mosque. <laughs> yeah, either that. <laughs> but, but then uh, at then... least you end up with three flags. Yeah. And... yeah. So. But but if if you don't like, oh like uh, oftentimes this like this as we as I said these matches often go twenty minutes, and uh, if you don't if you don't cap quick there is a there is a chance <laughs> that it's just gonna go the full distance. So, uh, yeah, in the beginning, at least you have somewhat control over where they can like deduce where people are. Like, they cannot be here. Like, if it's 20 seconds in the match, they cannot be at our main because you can't walk there in 20 seconds. Yeah, so it's like the only time you have like sort of control, and then the yeah, longer yeah, yeah. it gets, it more <laughs> like, yeah, you, you can literally be anywhere. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and this Unless is why. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, but like and and like th this is a problem in general in five v five is that the longer the round goes, like the the more uh, the less control you feel you have usually, unless you get a lucky wipe in the middle of the round or something. Uh, but um, what I was gonna say is that the rush strat is really it's really just a variation on like the default where everyone just spawn here and wait in the flag zone. Yeah. So it's like. Uh, I really think that if you get a good spawn, there's really, really no reason not to rush. No. So, uh, but US, I guess we, uh, the one thing, uh, US, uh, there, you probably have more options or more different things you can do. Um, or that the things that, uh, I, I guess, the, I guess what I'm trying to say is that there's no like super OP initial for US. <laughs> like, like the guys who are pushing market are probably not super confident that they're going <laughs> to prevail. <laughs> so the one thing I remember in Team Norway is that you remember uh, we tried to have the tube on the roof here. Yeah. And I, and I have seen Tweak do something similar where Preda is on this roof. So the idea is that every US guy is sort of pushing around here and you have one guy just trying to see to cover anyone flanking on this side. Um, but I, I guess there's a decent chance that you're going you're gonna to spot anyone uh, running, um, running here if you are on a roof here. Because these days, these days I see many infs will push hotel after uh, they kept market and then as yeah you mean as mech. 
yeah, yeah, and then a single squad leader will maybe two people will push junkyard. Then it's it's really not that hard to kill one person with a tube. But but that also makes sense though, because if one guy gets on this like if one mech guy gets on the junkyard roof, that's that's so fucking annoying. Because yeah. it's hard to kill him. So like you can literally keep two people here if uh, if you get on that roof as mech. Um, so I can see both things working, even though like, uh, I, you know, I, I do agree with Len that like, if you have a super successful rush strat, like it can very well work to just push on to junk. Yeah. But, but it, it, it can not, also, yeah. it can also make sense to just have w- one guy just try to get on that roof and the rest of them. I, I, I think both things can work. Yeah. Um, but I would um, like, if I get a uh, shit spawn on mech, I might even consider a squad leader to just jump in the water. Uh, smack here? like from the top, yeah, and immediate and try to hide in the ruins there and see if I can lurk. Yeah. Uh, yes, and then have my teammates go to hotel. Yeah, I mean, lurking is obviously this map's uh, like people who are really good at lurking. This is a map they like to play usually. <laughs> But, uh, I found yeah. I I really didn't like it when it came out because it felt like so easy to get around. <laughs> it is easy to get around. <laughs> yeah. Like it felt like cheating. It was like the map where, where if you couldn't play far, if you can't like flank on the normal map, this map was made for you, and it felt like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, it's it's a hard map. Uh, I I definitely I hope to see some rush strats in the cup uh, upcoming five v five cup. Um, on, th- on this map, I usually like to to hang uh, as mech. I like to hang around a little bit after we cap market uh, uh, around the um, LMG area on market. Yeah, or area. or you can or some, you know when yeah. you get that feeling that they're pushing Moscow, you're sort of hanging yeah. around on top of the wall here, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> pivoting yeah. around between there and there. Because very often, one of the guys, US guys that pushes market, is a squad leader trying to run to Moscow. Yeah. yeah. Because that would what uh, that seems very logical as US, because you're not really gonna get market unless oh. you're like, yeah, unless, unless you get lucky with nades. Yeah. Unless you get yeah. lucky with nades. So the 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 idea as US should be to infiltrate somehow, <laughs> like get one person past in the I chaos. Mean, I mean, some people yeah. will try to do like the wall jump here, but. I always run here and check it, like pretty much always, unless. And even the red zone push, yeah. <laughs> I always run here and look outside yeah. the wall before I jump down. Yeah. So, it, it, I mean, if you're unspotted, it's like it's like magic. But you, uh, I can't really yeah, see it working. You usually should be spotted if you run around behind the wall there, in yeah. initial at least. The one advantage, though, is that Soundtrack is not allowed anymore, so there is more. Ooh. Like, playing this map with Soundtrack was bullshit. <laughs> like, this is the map where Soundtrack, that br- where Soundtrack breaks the game. Um, but anyway, what is... Uh, do you have anything more to say on this? Uh, I remember when it came out, we spent a lot of time thinking, how can you kill people who camp on hotel roof? You mean like, like the, how, the tallest yeah, yeah, roof? How, how, yeah, let's say, let's say you're full capping, but they have one guy hiding on top of roof. Like, and we were like, can you jump on the other, the other roofs and from there on nade hotel roof? I can't remember the thing. I think that you I remember. can nade from these roofs. You should yeah. be able yeah. to nade from these and roofs. And the one across the street. Yeah, the right across there. the street, yeah. yeah. And we were like, we were, we were, when it came out, we were like really planning how t- how can we in this scenario how can we like <laughs> stop somebody from just camping up there and denying the full cap? Like, should we go up there? Like, if it's getting close to full cap, should we just climb up there and just you know <laughs> to avoid getting full capped? Oh, but yeah, I really don't think hiding should be a thing. <laughs> I really think when you cap all the flags, it should be over. Like, that's my opinion. The, yeah, the bleed should be at least a lot faster. Or I have actually suggested that you should be able to apply for a commander if you kept all the flags. And then have Arty? <laughs> no, not Arty, <laughs> no, but like to be able to see. Because oh, people yeah. hide themselves to 150 tickets. That's like sometimes 100 tickets, but that's like bullshit, yeah. man. Uh, but anyway. Okay. Um, really fun when you man- manage 
to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I still didn't like it when. Well, anyway, let's let's continue. This 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 is a this is interesting though because yes, this map is. Can we can this we say fun. that th this is the Norwegian home map? <laughs> yeah. This is where um, this is where Norwegian teams could beat the Germans way back. Uh, now, what? Uh, th this is this is a map where uh, let's see if we can get the spawns on. Um, what's the flag called? Hotel. Didn't they have? Doesn't they have hotel uh, spawns? Have Silver still done a poor job? Yes. Okay, I know where the spawns are, so if that helps. <laughs> yeah, there is one spawn. <laughs> there are three spawns. There, <laughs> there and there. And right? and no, there. the Daria cash of four spawns. Yeah. Yeah, there are four spawns. Okay. There, yeah. Uh, so uh, th this is this is a this is a flag where uh, the spawn blocking definitely works because the, the guy spawns here, he just stands still. Yeah. And uh, then the other guy is, is gonna get one of the better spawns. Um, I just always spawned with two people and I've never ever experienced getting two people on the shit spawn. Well, uh, we, we we used to I... do the we okay. used to do the spawn blocking. It takes yeah, okay, a split yes, second. Makes it, yeah, yeah, it yeah, yeah. It, it's it's a safer approach. I just yeah, I would do it now. But yeah. <laughs> but uh, I I don't like when you get the east spawn. I I, I yeah. mean uh, if if you make it, it's like a high reward kind of thing. Like yeah. if you survive past here, uh, then it's great. But like it, it, I just feel very exposed going up the east yeah. the slope there. Uh, but uh, can we like? I think it's a good thing that they actually made Mech the attacking team because this would be so fucking Mech sided <laughs> if, if like, it, it, it's one of the worst like initial positions of any map to to attack like uphill. Was, um, I remember spending a lot of time thinking how, because like my greatest fear is getting wiped as Mech and then yeah. having like almost spawn raped and you lose so many tickets. So can yeah. I like can I trade a few tickets and bleed in order to make sure that that never happens? So we came up, there are a few routes you can go to the west that allows yeah. you to like get out. You can you can do like through the this, the red zone yeah. here and up here like but, but and there's it, also a jump uh, like slightly less west. But yeah, right which is yeah, which is uh, not. But uh, I think for Team Norway, we a lot of times sent one west, I and mean, we sent four people uh, the other way, and it was like the backup safe plan. And we felt that that was worth because what did it cost us? Uh, five, ten tickets, perhaps maybe at worst, five tickets. Yeah, uh, I I would say like I have a I have a whole video actually on YouTube which I is like the mech, uh, sharky mech attack, yeah. Where I where I basically only talk about how you can nade how easy it, it <laughs> can be to nade the top of the wall here, because you actually have walls to hide behind down here where you can yeah. actually stay prone and nade the top of the wall. So because like just shooting your way through here is very very difficult you 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 have to get some well you don't have to but it, it's going to really help if you get some nades to land in this corner for example so uh, but th that's a separate issue uh so yeah i i think we can all agree that you want you want to get there that, that's like as mech you want to get to office like that's that the east goal Oh yeah, that's the easiest flag. That's to the cap. easiest flag yeah. to cap. You don't want you don't want to go for TV station as your first flag, right? Yeah, it takes. Uh, you want the bleed off as fast as possible. Yeah, and consite is it's so hard to just go directly from hotel to consite. It's a fucking nightmare. Uh, like, I've, I've, but I feel like if you if if you push up the west ramp, yeah, you go off it. If you push up the east ramp, I think I would go TV. If I get through. I mean, you, you can do this. You can do like a split, like um, have, have one guy, one guy just lurk run. around there and one guy push here um, if it's convenient. Uh, 
I mean, I, I definitely agree with the idea that getting out, yeah. no matter <laughs> no matter what flag you get, you want to get the flag because this lockdown right here is brutal. Like when the US team is in like the best positions and all have AKs, uh, yeah, that's not the situation <laughs> you want to be in. <laughs> like, I like for teams who, are, if you know how to jump from the uh, from the beach, uh, is it like here? Not... Yeah, at least that's where I do it. Uh, <laughs> I think there are other places as well. Uh, I'm not saying that it's uh, necessarily the best idea, but I have done it in 5v5s yeah. where I thought uh, we would lose. And yeah. I said, fuck it, I'll just go to the beach. And at, at and like, first parties, they will spawn back. And I'm like, okay, I'm wasting somebody's time or wasting two people's time. Like, if it's 1v1, then obviously yeah. it's not worth But Oh, I, I mean, you, you are sensible in that, in like in that regard. Like you, you <laughs> the, the the fact that you're already that's not something I usually think about. That okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna adopt the 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 loser tactic here because I think I'm gonna lose. But I can definitely, I do think that you save tickets sometimes doing that if you, yeah. if you def if you really know that your team isn't gonna just sweep them <laughs> back to the <laughs> <Yeah>. station <laughs> but uh yeah I, I i i have also wondered sometimes if you could do like an svd spawn here or um, i mean you know some people at least i don't know I, I think people still are like crazy good with the svd like there there's always someone who's like so good with that gun that it's like and and the gun itself is overpowered like you can definitely you can definitely tell just by how by how good some people are with it. Well, the, but... uh, one thing here on this map that has annoyed me from time to time, especially if you play with inexperienced players, is that uh, if you is to like uh, give proper information, like uh, a phrase that I hate is like they are rushing here, like. Uh, they is extremely imprecise <laughs> like call how many you see it, it's yeah, a exactly. big difference if it's three four or five if you if you see three you call three if you see four you call four and don't over rotate uh, i have always I, I i i always always try to have one player play on top of east ramp like well, uh, on that hill there just uh, until you have lost the flag I As mean th th that. Bec I mean, I think that's like a general issue in five v five. But I can, yeah, yeah. I can, I would definitely agree that it's more important on the two maps where the one team has an uncap, because yeah. you sort of have this like line right here that yeah. you want to keep as the defender and yeah. uh, you're kind of like this is even worse than getting stuck on hotel. Like if if um, if mech push uh, here and get this flag. And Mech now has this uncappable flag where one guy is gonna come lurking every now and then to consight, yeah. and you need to have that, like defending consight alone like that and just hanging around consight. It's, it's literally my least favorite position <laughs> in the game. <laughs> like I yeah. hate it. It's so difficult. So uh, in that, on maps like this where you like w the attacking team has an uncap. I would definitely agree that like over rotating back here and just letting everything go is like no, no, no I'm I'm not talking just about that. I'm I'm also talking about like in the initial like you usually have three guys camping west ramp. Yeah, and you have like the one yeah, guy and here. You have, and, and, you have, guy and you have and you have two guys camping east ramp. And if if somebody on west ramp yells out, they are rushing west ramp. Yeah. Then, if if those two guys on east ramp, then rotates to west ramp to help, and yeah. the and it was only four people that rushed west ramp. Then the last squad leader is just going to push straight to TV. Yeah, I mean, so, it's, so, it's, uh, it should be possible to at least see that there are four here. Like, uh, I mean, I'm I'm not going to say it's very likely that you're going to spot all five at the same time, but. You should be able to see at least three or four and call the number. Yeah, yeah, but 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 the problem is that many just calls. They are rushing here. Yeah, and then 
a, a guy w- with less experience will rotate it away from East yeah. Ramp to help West Ramp and then leave it open. Yeah, that's like a general problem, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, but it, it, it's, it, it's it is... especially punishing in this map because you you let them out. Yeah, and car as well. I, yeah, I usually like to have like one <laughs> is fixed west and one fixed east, and then you have three guys in the middle rotating. Yeah. Until the enemy, the mech, gets out. This is actually the map where we did. Uh, you remember we uh, when we were defending as US, we did like the um, team kill revive to get like the heavy medic. So yeah. I would have uh-huh. prone bird spawn with the tube initial, and I would just kill him immediately and give him medic kit with the body armor. <laughs> uh, that's actually one way where you can sort of uh, compensate a little bit for like uh, the AK. Um... It is really hard to kill. A heavy medic like uh, <laughs> I, I, it, it just makes it a little bit harder if you just give your top fragger <laughs> body armor that's that's definitely just, a good thing i just remember in so many games i've done this strategy with stefan our uh, dutch it was always the heavy medic in every team i played with when I played <laughs> him. In, in every game where there are so many games where you could do this sort of trick and like yeah. maybe sort of like boost them or like should we de- distribute the the armor or the boost uh, like uh, fairly? No, no, no. Just give it to Stefan. Everybody. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it makes especially sense on this map because if yeah. you get that wipe, then you like just uh, uh, like just just being that 10 percent more difficult to kill can really make you hold the lockdown a little bit longer uh if you manage to wipe mech back to um to hotel but yeah uh now we only have one map left but basically on sharky mm-hmm. if mech doesn't outcap us you have failed yes absolutely I would say the same for Karkin, actually. If teams are even, you should cap. Um, But we have seen, like... uh, We have seen even teams where neither one caps. I I guess it depends a little bit on on what your teams are strong at, like the lineups and stuff. Like, if both teams are really good at getting around, they might both survive, but... um, but yeah, I would agree with that. Uh, where is Gulf? And now Loden, uh, we used to do... <laughs> what did we used to do as mech? Uh, we used to... I think that also was Lelen's strat, to be honest. Uh, I think get, that I stole Lelen. that from Apus. So Captain Kemper gave, it to, gave that strat to me. <laughs> yeah. So so it it it's basically It's also spawn blocking, right? As 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 mech initial you spawn with two squads. One squad with squad leader 1 and one squad with squad leader 2. Obviously did, the best. Didn't mm-hmm. we used to spawn block as well a little bit or did we just spawn both? I think maybe we spawned both at the same time. Now we we spawn both, and 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 obviously the best spawns goes for the respective flag. But, but I think but... you should spawn block though. Yeah, because be the, the, this uh, you don't. There want is that. a theoretical chance you can get two spawns there. Yeah, yeah, you don't want no. two. Like one here is no, fine, yeah. but you don't want two there, right? Mm. But but basically, the first squad leader and the third squad leader, I think we usually spawned mm. with, and then the second squad leader leader spawned the Uman. Now I mean, what's it called? City. City, city. Yes. yeah. Yeah, spawned the city squad leader. So I, I can just illustrate here. So uh, first and third squad leader. So let's say the first squad leader runs here, the third squad leader runs here. So the third squad leader is going to get the inf squad. Or the, the squad leader who runs yeah. here is going to get the infers yeah. spawn on him. The squad leader who runs here is going to get the second squad leader to spawn on him around this yeah. area. So the second squad leader will have full sprint at that time and will flank super quickly towards Beachhead. Yeah. So but you're just you saving have... sprint. One guy is using his sprint to run here and then he gets a spawn from another squad leader who uses his sprint to run here, right? Yeah, and and then if you, if, if you fail uh, the first push to village, 
you can decide if you want to have a spawn on the third squad leader and yeah. have another go, or if you want to spawn on the second squad leader that flanks the beach. I definitely think that if you're playing correctly, you should push in here and die quite and quickly. And kill, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because I, I, do I do remember that we got the second... Like, the squad leader who kept um, City... Uh, like, uh, by the time we were all dead here, I think you, Len, you were around here, maybe? You hadn't reached Beachhead no. yet, so yeah. we, we did a second spawn on this squad leader and pushed here before anyone spawned on Len down here. Because it, it, it do take some time, some time to get to Yeah, it's a, it's a long way to run. Regardless. So so if, if, you, if you're wiped fast, you can get a second push on village before you spawn beach. Like I think that's a I, that's like a general mistake. Like with the approach that people have these days, is that uh, I mean I, I'm fine with the squad leader sometimes staying around and not dying, um, but like when the inverse starts to preserve their own life, that's when you run into serious issues. <laughs> yeah. Are there any variations on this? Like. Uh, I, I, I mean, strat wise, Oman is pretty boring. Yeah, you it's, could, it's you, like could one... you could you could set four to just do one CT yeah, and yeah, four that, there. That's like the, the, you have the, four guys here and one guy yeah. can pair. There is a theoretical chance though that if you only send one CT, that a US, if they for some reason really wants to attack CT, that you can in theory get naded. Yeah. So. Well, yeah. I, when whenever I cap city by myself, I'm I'm like jump spotting this direction yeah. nonstop. So yes. uh, that's like uh, over defense. Yeah, I'm also very aware of not throwing med packs there, because I have done that mistake in the past, throwing med packs, and then because I saw the person arriving and I was afraid of getting naded, head in the wall, med packs, and then he then we have a fight and he jumps into the flag zone and he. <laughs> and I can't kill him, and he just steals all my med packs. <laughs> yeah, that's, the, that's <laughs> which is <definitely> a danger. <laughs> which is a thing I realized. Hmm, I should probably not put down med packs unless I actually need them. <laughs> well, <laughs> like th that's might, a good one advice. That's, good. A, one that's a good. One advice. might be good, but three would excessive. <laughs> but like, yeah, there people... is uh, there, there is these mistakes that, that that people sometimes do. Like if if, if for example on Karkan. If you're a uh, mech on hotel defending and you're uh, uh, you're standing in bottom of stairs and uh, to the flag and peeking north, and then you spam three or four med packs, and then they, for example, push north, then you go up into the stairs to defend, and you have given them three med packs uh, <laughs> in the bottom of the stairs, if you know what I mean. Yeah, but like it's a general, it's a general danger with throwing too much med packs. I mean, I sometimes see people like throwing med packs at the corners as they're pushing them, and it's like if there is a guy on that corner, then you're just throwing med packs in his face. <laughs> like <laughs> you, you don't really want to do that. I guess US is there's really nothing to talk about, is it? Like only one guy spawns. Yeah, and. One squad leader spawns mid, uh, go here, rest go there. There's nothing to say. Uh, the only thing is that if if uh, do you want everybody to push flag on the village, or do you want to have one or two top side to try to defend against the pushing infs? That's basically <laughs> the only variation you can do. Hmm. Well, I definitely feel that if if mech is all pushing topside like you see some sometimes these days you see that like people pushing not pushing flag at all they're just fucking running topside yeah uh, i don't know i i mean i'm it, just it, it is hard it, it, it is hard if, if us is stuck on flag and then suddenly we have three or four mix topside it's, it can yeah. be hard to actually kill them all but like uh, habitual, I'm I'm like habitually just pushing flag no matter what. Uh, like I can't help it, and I think you're the same way. It's like I I I, I firmly believe that's the correct way to play. Like um, not saying there are aren't like special situations where not pushing flag can work, but as a general principle, 
Mm. I think uh, we should all just go flag and die. Or get the flag. Pr preferably get the flag, actually. <laughs> but yes. Anything more? Anything more to say? Or Let's uh, do the Kubra Star Strats. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine? Like, uh, And here's the thing. Like, Yes, Kubra was a 5 5 inf map way back. And but guess Kubra, what? Uh, you just never go lower. That's like the only thing on the Kubra. <laughs> Don't go lower flag. <laughs> like you just go upper push immediately and just trap them at lower. But anyway. like so was Fisher. Fisher was also five five map, which is insane. Now that now yeah, that, yeah, I that think is about insane. It. Uh, but Kubra was at least played a bit. Clan base, I remember. It yeah, Clan base has Kubra. Yeah. Yeah. Inflig had Master uh, Fish, uh, Fisher as well, which uh, I mean. I, I don't really I think the five maps that we talked about today are like sh the, <laughs> they they are basically the only maps that should be played 5 5 on like maybe you can make a case for blue pearl I, I don't like that map personally but yeah but That's I guess even more uh, clusterfuck than uh, <laughs> Dalabad yeah it's like uh, yeah yeah uh, I don't like that map I don't really think it's that uh, well designed uh, compared to the default maps or the standard maps but yeah I guess we're done nothing more to say so thank you for baiting me into this uh, movie. <laughs> yeah I should mention uh, I mean Len didn't want to participate because he didn't think he had uh, the 5v5 skills anymore although I will assure you that Len was quite a 5v5 player back in the day Although people don't believe it these days. I uh, hmm? am just terrible now. I guess I was <laughs> terrible back then, but nah, people were you, you were actually quite good. But here's the thing, though. You barely play, so I can definitely... That's what I always but, tell people. Uh, um, but you, didn't you play for Team Norway Inf in both 8, 9, and 10? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but we can all problem. agree that not necessarily the best player not to like uh, 2010 uh, questionable yeah yeah there uh, were there were questionable picks in that uh, yeah. team norway <laughs> in 2010 questionable for sure I, I i think in 2009 as well because there were yeah. just a bunch of squad leaders like, yeah yeah <laughs> and loden i should also say loden loden was scared to participate because he didn't want to give people any pointers <laughs> <laughs> I, but, I uh, honestly I, I only honestly thought that was gonna be a, like a, a pawn running around on a map for this video. Oh talking. Yeah. So so you were actually trying to throw me excuses, I see. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> That's it.